Good morning everyone and welcome back to Craft Eccentricity and it's an Eiffel store project share today and I hope everyone has a wonderful day and I'll just go straight in with the dies that I used. Right, I used this background sort of like star patchwork die and I cut two of these. I left one hole, cut one in half and then I cut a little bit off the ends either side of where I'd cut it in half, moved it in so that it looked layered. I will show you that. I used the holly dye, which is absolutely gorgeous. If you need a sprig of holly on everything or anything, then that's the one. I used my Santa hat dye because I think it's absolutely gorgeous. And I did tell you yesterday that, you know, you can use them for little nightcaps on owls or for scroogey humbug type cards because it does look like a little nightcap that one i used one of the snowflakes i was sent to and that was the one that i used it's absolutely gorgeous and i did do all the measurements on yesterday's video for that one i've used the sort of like moon night sky Christmas with the Santa flying across there and you've got the tree cutouts in the base and I also used the Christmas bauble the lacy cutout type still haven't poked it out yet <laughs> and it's got the lovely little deer with the antlers down there so those are what I've used and I'll show you what I made oh and I also used my favourite, favourite Christmas sentiment dies. I will link these below. They're absolutely awesome. And here is the first one that I made. And so you can see I put everything on here. That background cardstock is that North Pole pack from Hobby Lobby again. And all of this cardstock is from Joanne, the solid colour. There's those lovely, lovely holly berries the intricacy of that die and you can see what I mean when I said that I cut two and then I cut one straight up the middle which was the white one and then pushed it in to give it a really fun kind of shadow layer I just think that's absolutely gorgeous up there my lovely AliExpress twine just a simple little bow on the top of that ornament I just think that's gorgeous and my finished card, once I've finished, this is five and a quarter inches square. So I really, really love that. Somewhere around here is my ruler. And I'm just going to drag it out. So from the tip of the deer's tail, and I know where its hind legs are, that is four and a quarter inches. But isn't that lovely? just super easy to cut out and I'm going to get right in close so that you can see that die does cut out a lot of intricate dies can be quite awkward that was not it cuts out absolutely beautifully so that's my first one and I can see my camera Woo! yes it's got a bit wobbly and hazy actually next up a little bit matchy matchy using the same paper again but I just wanted to use them all so <laughs> there are all nine Santa hats and I use some glitter ribbon there from AliExpress just have a look at all the different styles there aren't they wonderful you can just leave the dye in one whole piece and just cut red and then cut white really quick really easy and of course, as I said yesterday, popping them on top of paper clips on a journal page, a Christmas journal page, absolutely wonderful. I just absolutely adore those. I can see me using them on everything this Christmas. Maybe even capping off the tops of my own Christmas bauble ornaments with them just for a bit of fun on the tree. But I really, really love that. It's great fun. No sentiment. I don't think it needed it. So... I'm going to try and measure one of those little hats and I'm going to give you a kind of average across them all. I'm going to say one and a quarter inches to one and a half inches. 
and then I'm going to say one and a half inches yeah yeah I think it's fair to say one and a half inches tall because these are along this way where they've got their their little bobbles down below but isn't that a lovely bit of fun I mean you can just use one but I just wanted to use them all why not and then next up I tried to be cool and elegant and this is that snow in the sky there's that gorgeous gorgeous sentiment die I'm going to get close up for you it's nice to know that things cut awful when you buy something and it doesn't work just look at that snowflake just so so pretty that grey pearl cardstock and I've got a little bit of glitter there is from Joanne and I just thought that looked really sort of like cold and foggy and icy and there is Santa in his sleigh cut twice popped up on foam pads under there popped up on foam pads underneath all I did was cut the grey card stock and then I cut a piece of white and placed it behind that aperture and then I was able to piece this back into it and the white bit back into it, the little Santa there is all in white underneath and then the silver on top. I just think that's really, really elegant. It's quite classy, I think. And uh, I really, really like that. So let's get close into Santa so you can see all of those little details. Put my finger in there so that you've got the scale. I am going to measure it. And uh, I don't know where my glitter's coming from. Probably all off my ribbon. Right, so we're going four and a quarter inches wide. And I cut it into a slimline base die. This is one of um, KS Crafts Basics. And then the height is three inches. So if you've got slimline dies that will take those dimensions, you can just pop that in and cut the whole thing through together. But I just think that's super, super pretty. So once again, I'm just going to do a quick close-up so that you can see those embossed details. You can get a white gel pen and you can go into those little um, marks there just to highlight them if you wanted to. But super fun. And then just cutting down that die and layering it over just for a bit of extra dimension right that's what I have for you today I'm going to be up tomorrow with another background die that I've discovered I think will make quite sort of zany looking candy cane and those cute critter dies you have a fabulous day as usual all links below bye